morning's Machinery Minute. John Deere just rolled out its biggest piece of machinery yet, the 7950 self-propelled Forager. Farm Journal Machinery Editor Margie Fisher got a look. John Deere has introduced its largest ag machine to date. Joining me is Cody Wilkinson, a product marketing specialist with the new 7950 self-propelled forage harvester. Cody, tell me about this machine. Okay, uh, first of all, we can talk about horsepower. It's rated at 800 horsepower, which is the largest horsepower rating for any piece of John Deere equipment uh, on the product line uh, today. Uh, to match that 800 horsepower, we've also come out with the 770 rotary uh, harvesting unit, which you can see here attached on the front of the 7950 self-propelled forage harvester. Tell me, are there any <laughs> new hay pickups? Yes, uh, there are. Uh, currently, we have three hay pickups in our lineup. It's a B-series. Uh, they're 3 meter, 4 meter, and 4.5 meter options. But we're going to a C-series pickup that has uh, some new uh, new options that will be beneficial to the customer that allow them to uh, adjust uh, things more easily on the machine. This 800 horsepower workhorse is powered by a Cummins engine. And tell me, I understand there's new options for serviceability. That's exactly right. Um, previously, our 7850 was our flagship model. Uh, it was a 15 liter Cummins. Now we moved to a 19 liter Cummins. And uh, as you suggested, serviceability was a little bit of a headache for the dealership. Now, with the 7950 and the 19 liter Cummins engine, uh, we're, we're allowing dealerships to go online, do some training, uh, purchase the, the proper and necessary tools. Uh, there's additional software that they're going to need um, to do the, do the serviceability in-house, giving that customer just one face to deal with and uh, giving them someone who they're comfortable with, I'm sure, their dealership. John Deere is supplying new harvesting options for those customers who have tight forage windows. For Ag Day, I'm Farm Journal's Margie Fisher.